Hi, in this video we will try to find the period of a small angle gravity pendulum without calculus. Firstly, this is our gravity pendulum. It has a string of length L and a bobble mass M. Theta is the angle the string makes with a vertical line going through the pivot point. The equations of motion for this pendulum can be written like this. If we apply the small angle approximation for the sine function, we find a simpler differential equation, but we still need to solve it. To avoid this, we follow the clever workaround found by Christian Hörhens. Consider the motion of a pendulum moving on an horizontal circle, that is, a conical pendulum. Projecting its two-dimensional motion onto a vertical screen, we can clearly see that the period of both pendulums is the same, at least when the size of the oscillations is small. So now the question is, what is the period of the conical pendulum? To find the period T, we establish the balance of forces acting on the ball. They are its weight, W, and the tension on the string, T. Since the bob in the conical pendulum moves in a uniform circular motion, its acceleration can be given as a function of the angular frequency, omega, and the radius of the circular trajectory, r. We can write both these quantities using the ones already in the problem. Now we consider the balance of forces projected in the direction orthogonal to the string, to avoid dealing with the tension on the string. We can use the small angle approximations again. And after some rearranging, we find that the period of the pendulum is 2 pi times the square root of L over G. This is precisely the solution we would find had we solved the differential equation. It tells us that for small oscillations, the period of the pendulum is independent of the angle.